It's a young samurai, I smoke a split in a cut, then I pass a lot to my bro. No fuck with my flow. Couple bad bitches in a cup of that show. So it's just THC. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Hey, before the video even start, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. All right, so first thing I want to say is this. Um, I am 100% behind getting everybody who is uh, sexually harassing people, in the, harassing people of any kind in the workforce. You know, uh, even if it's not the, like harassment just needs to, uh, it needs to be put to it. There's just some kind of, uh, pervasive, uh, mindset that we have about, um, uh, the allowance of, 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 you know, that, you know, harassment isn't that bad. It's just men being men or it's just people being people or whatever the case is. And I think that that mindset does need to change and, you know, some people do feel like in work environments are hostile. You know, um, I'm not the best looking guy in the world, but I have been harassed in the workplace by females. It happens in both sides of the freaking um spectrum. Don't get this confused. Anyway, so uh, I'm just saying that before I go into the story because I don't want people to think, you know, that I'm just... 100% behind every single story that I hear. Oh, a woman said she was harassed. It got to be true. No, it's not almost 100% true, but let's just keep it. Let, let's just be honest. Uh, in in this society that we live in, there's just not an onus put on people respecting other people's personal space. There's just no onus put on it. People are just, you know, doing whatever and thinking that it's acceptable. All right, so... Uh, and I haven't read the story, by the way. So, you know, y'all know how I do. Let's go. The once self-proclaimed worldwide leader in sports is reportedly a terrible place for women to work. And they're about to buy a Fox. Um, so they're going to be even larger if they buy the Fox's sports division. But I heard that's not supposed to happen, but who knows. Two of ESPN's biggest stars, John Butchagross and, and Matthew Berry, among other male talent, have been accused of inappropriate behavior towards women, according to an in-depth report from the Boston Globe that features some of the bombshell allegations about working in Bristol. Adrian Lawrence, who worked at ESPN in 2015 on a racially diverse diversity fellowship, claims Bruchikos has been known to send her unsolicited shirtless selfies. In a complaint filed with ESPN this past summer, Lawrence, who is a lawyer, says Bruchikos once <laughs> He's, she's a lawyer. She's a lawyer, dude. Says Bruchigas will call her doll face and refer to her as long legs and dreams girls and text messages conversations. All right, so for everybody who does not watch uh, Late Night Sports Center, that's the sports center he, he generally comes on. But I thought he was in L.A. I didn't know he was in uh, Bristol. But um, the the sports center he generally comes on is at night. He comes on. It's, Matt, it's uh, John Bruchigas and it's the... Um, He's on there with another guy named John, generally. So, um, <laughs> you can see a guy on TV. He looks like he just thinks he's the shit. So, I mean, I can actually, <laughs> I'm not saying any of this is real, but I mean, it looks like he thinks that he has so much, you know, uh, swag that, you know, he could do these things and it wouldn't be a big deal. You know, it is what it is. But if I find it funny that he's doing this to a lawyer, somebody who knows their rights, that's crazy. That's, that's just not taken into consideration. Um, what's going on? But that also shows the the how uh, you know how how open these type of things are in in certain uh, environments. I'm not saying in ESPN environment. I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is is for whatever the reason is, he believed that this wasn't a big deal. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that this is something that is uh is is is, is a staple of working in ESPN. As far as I know, the majority of the people up there, if not all of the people up there, with the exception of this man and um, Matthew Berry, are just outstanding co-workers and citizens. I'm not trying to accuse anybody of anything. ESPN has failed to address this deeply ingrained culture of sexism, hostility, treatment, hostile treatment towards women. <laughs> now, I didn't just read that sentence before I just said what I said. I just want y'all to know that. She added that a huge part of ESPN's hostile work environment included men mocking female employees by spreading false rumors of sexual relationships. Wow. wow. 
When Lawrence told officials at the company that a false rumor of her dating Bruce Grimes was spreading, they responded by telling her to drop the matter according to a formal complaint she filed. I consider Adrian to be a friend, Bruce Grimes told the Globe. I'm sorry if anything I did or said offended Adrian. It certainly wasn't my intent. Okay, we're gonna assume that any man. This is this is where you just get into wordplay. We're gonna assume that any man sending any woman a selfie with their shirt off. They're not intending to um, offend them. They're actually intending to do other things. Offending him is not one of them. So he's he's actually telling the truth. You know, I didn't mean to offend her. I just want to sleep with her. You know, <laughs> basically what he just said. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to hit that. I wasn't trying to offend her. I wasn't trying to make her go the other way. I was trying to get her to come closer. ESPN said on Thursday that Lawrence claims has been investigated or entirely without merit. Hmm. The network also released screenshots of text messages between Bouchergras and Lawrence in an attempt to show they had a consensual personal relationship that spanned months. John Sturgeon, who also worked for the Jets, allegedly received nude selfies from Brett Favre, Jen, pardon me, says that she will be, says that she will all but forced to go to Charlotte, North Carolina strip club during her 2006 months long audition for an on-air job at the network. Wow. This is what's happening at ESPN? I don't, I don't know. Following a group dinner with certain attended with company employees and many male job candidates, Matthew Berry, who was interviewing for a position for the fantasy show, planned a trip to a strip club. Okay, now, first of all, just so we could just be fair, strip clubs is where a lot of deals are made. For everybody that doesn't know, um, that's one of the reasons why if you listen to rap music nowadays, most of the music that is made in rap music is made specifically to be played in strip clubs. Because that's where a lot of deals get made. A lot of deals get made in the strip clubs. A lot of deals get made in the in, in uh, the golf course. That's just what it is. That's where the deals get made. So by her saying that they had uh, meetings at the strip club or whatever the case is, it's not rare. Okay, this is this is not rare. This is this is something that happens. So please don't everybody say, oh, they're doing the strip clubs. They're trying to do this. And nah, that's that's really where they having meetings at. It's really a thing. It's it's kind of a big deal, but it's I mean it's 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 just companies companies do this companies and not just ESPN and I don't know they just do this. Following a group dinner with Sturgeon attended the company employees, many male jet job candidates. Matthew Berry who was attending for look Matthew Berry was there too. Males were there too. Sturgeon said she did not know where they were going until the group and and arrived at the club, and after openly expressing how uncomfortable she was there, was made fun of. Now, with this being said, there are a lot of people, myself included. I'm not a strip club guy. You understand what I'm saying? Like, when I go into a strip club, it makes me feel bad. I mean, I know what a lot of people try to say. Oh, yeah, but it's women getting their power back or, or whatever the case is. But if you got if you got 10, 10 strippers, maybe one of them is there trying to get a freaking degree from college, man. The rest of them are there because they can't work nowhere else. Because uh, they they had a, a hard life and they're trying to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to talk bad about nobody. I'm just trying to say that. Uh, I'm just going to leave it there. I don't, I don't want to speak badly about the women. They got a, 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 not all of them, obviously, but a majority of them have had uh, enough difficulty without me uh, pointing out obviousness, obviousnesses of their profession. Anyway, so... um. I'm going to leave the link in the description. As usual, I don't finish the story. I'll let y'all go to the story. Y'all can check it out yourself if it's interesting to you. But yeah, John Bouchergras. So I was uh, kind of... I, I got this story from uh, Ticket TV. I, I woke up this morning. I, li I listened to Ticket TV. He was talking about it. He was like calling a guy's name wrong. But, you know, he probably doesn't watch Late Night or that particular sports center. So he wouldn't know how to say the individual's name. But um, I was kind of surprised and kind of not surprised. Like, if you see the guy on TV, you see what he is. But as they just said there... Um, they released footage, and it was a back and forth between the two individuals. Like I said in the beginning, before I even started the freaking um the the, the story, look, man, a lot of this stuff that people were saying, it just probably isn't really what it it looks like. It could be just people just you know crying wolf, and we need for people to not cry wolf so we can take care of the people that really needs taken care of. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. Yeah, look, I love y'all. 
if if in your workplace or anywhere else you feel like anything is happening that you need some kind of light shown to it, please inform everybody because some of these people they're just gonna take it further and further and further. I love y'all. Keep each other safe, and that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.